all of that stuff. Okay, you turn on the monitor and the green light blinks on and off maybe for 10, 20 minutes, maybe in half an hour and maybe finally the monitor turns on after warming up. This problem is caused by a bad capacitor. It's a common problem in LCD TVs and monitors. To do this repair you'll need a soldering iron and solder, a 470 microfarad capacitor rated at at least 16 volts but higher is fine, a couple of wire leads, some small end nippers, and a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. To start with just take a screwdriver and gently pry off this little back panel here comes right off and you'll see some screws and there are also some screws on the sides. To disassemble the LCD monitor in question you must remove these four screws here as well as two that are recessed. I've already done that for you and these are already unscrewed and the back shell casing comes off as such. If it doesn't come off easily you'll have to go around the perimeter with a flathead screwdriver and pry it off lovingly. <laughs> then we have a casing here that needs to be unscrewed and that just comes right off. Okay once you have the back cover up look at the printed circuit board and in all of our cases where we've had this problem on the VE700 model the bad capacitor has been the one labeled C68 which is this one here indicated by the screwdriver. Um, sometimes we found that it was bulging a little bit, but other times it looks just fine. But when we replaced it, the monitor was repaired successfully. You totally zoomed to uh, replace the capacitor, get some small uh, snippers and try to snip it off underneath the capacitor. We've done that already, and then here it comes off. And then you can get some small wire leads and solder them onto the terminals where the capacitor was and get a new capacitor that is the same, roughly the same capacitance and equal or greater voltage rating. In our case we took out a 470 microfarad capacitor rated at 16 volts and we're replacing it with a 470 microfarad capacitor rated at 50 volts which just has a higher voltage rating which means it'll be even more durable. Note the positive and negative connections on the circuit board where the capacitor came out. There's a little circle and there's the white side is the negative side and the green side is the positive side. So connect it back accordingly using the markings on your capacitor to tell which is the negative side and which is the positive side. And we just went ahead and soldered those leads onto the end of the capacitor. And then Obviously it, now it won't fit in the printed circuit board so we just ran the wires off to the side and taped it down to the taped it down to the side of the monitor and then replaced the cover, um, put some electrical tape so that the leads don't make contact with any metal parts and things like that. You don't want the capacitor metal leads touching the metal of the monitor back so you can cover them with electrical tape once you've soldered them on to make sure that they are insulated and then tape the capacitor down. Then tape your capacitor down to the panel and replace the metal cover thusly. Screw it down, put the stacking back on the monitor and you're all set. This has worked 100% of the time for us to make this problem go away. And now we plug it in and see if it fixed. And there we go. A successful repair instead of throwing your monitor in the landfill. Yay! Man will now tell you how to fix them. <laughs> okay, so if your monitor Are you serious? turns on... Start over.